How are we doing, guys? Gals? Or, Gale. I think there's like one woman that watches this channel. But anyway, as promised, we've got a new car intro. So why am I standing inside the garage where you've got this goofy echo in the camera? Well, this is my warning. It is windy as hell out there. I don't know how well my voice is going to carry to the speaker, but I'm going to do my best. You guys ready to see car number one of the four car deal? into it the engine is coming out um, that is going back to the gentleman that sold this car to me however everything else including the lower cradle everything else stays with the car this is a 19 I believe 75 Pontiac kind of like that guy over there right there so, as you can tell, she's nosed up a hair, and she's already, oh, I don't know if you can see that, she's already plated up a hair. So, if I was to want to run this car, I would probably have to restub it from here forward. Maybe. I don't know if I want to do that. So what's the reason for buying this car? Well, because everything else came with it. So we got front tires, rears, a damn solid cage. Column, gas pedal, a homemade brake, a shifter, switch box, tranny cooler, made by that sexy bitch over at UDI, front bumper, rear bumper, I mean, yeah, the rear's not anything special, but it's there and it's straight. Front, same thing, it's there. Tranny stays with it. Um, he told me the tranny was a core. However, the only reason for that was because he said that there was some milky fluid that came out of it. However, this thing was last ran at our show in Seymour. If any fluid would have been anywhere there, it would have been milky with as freaking amount of rain as we got. So we will probably test that transmission to see if it works. It's got a little battery box. Protector goes all the way back. Obviously you guys know we've got a full-size car with no engine transmission. We got a full-size car that I don't know what we're gonna do with. We got a full-size car that I'll probably leave the way it is. We got a full-size car that somebody else is hopefully going to run this year, but you never know. Kyle, hopefully you're going to come run that thing, right? A full-size car that needs an engine. It doesn't have any bolt-on shit in it. It's just all factory. full-size car with a blown engine. Full-size car with a good engine. Full-size car with a good engine. We've got a lot of full-size shit sitting around here for being guys that run midsize and compact and small truck. So what does that mean? Well, I came up with an affordable way, I felt, to get all that shit that people think that they have to have to be competitive. Now obviously after having the gas pedals bent over a few times under the, uh, on the mix 
and seeing the position that this one's currently in, all right, I understand why gas pedals became a thing. And obviously, if we're gonna ever invest in, you know, a good transmission, it's good to have a cooler. This tranny has a brace on it, you can see that. So, there's a lot of stuff in here. The car itself, I don't know what it's worth. I mean, do I want to restub a car? Is that an avenue I want to take? Maybe. Um, worst case scenario, it's some parts for when we run and build that one. Um, there's a lot of possibilities. Uh, may I talk to a promoter or two and see if they will let me put one more plate on each side and just go fucking trash it because I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I might shoot some messages out there. But, as of right now, I don't have a real dead set plan for this car. Besides parking. And like I said, it was part of a four car deal. So you guys will get to see the other one. Obviously the back of this car has got a lot of life left, but I don't really like driving backwards. I'm trying to get in here out of the wind. So, what do you guys think of that ride? It is possible, I mean, I don't know. It is possible you may see another full size or two getting built here at some point. Um, obviously, we need to use some of that stuff up. If I was to come up with an engine, that I felt was reliable. I would really love to get rid of that box Ford, the black one that Adam ran, um, that the ass end's all kind of wonky on, but the front end's still perfectly straight. I would really like to get rid of that car. It's been sitting around for a long, long time. It's got a nice cage in it. Um, it's ready to just go get junked. So if I was to have an engine and a transmission, I would probably go with that car first, but it is nice to have this one that we can either decide to go play with junk somewhere or just start cutting apart because it's got a lot of really nice sh shit in it. What do you guys think we should do with it? What the hell? Should I show you where it's uh, where it's bending? Oh. You see it? So it's plated there and up there. Oh, there and up there. But uh, it bent again. Which most promoters around here, uh, around here only allowed two per side, so I don't know that I'm going to get away with doing another one. But I might ask, right? Worst I can do is say no, so maybe we'll give that a shot. Car number one. Um, it will be a while before you see the other ones in this deal, I think. Maybe I'll see if I can just go where they're at to shoot a video for you guys, but... Um, just know there are three more cars that still need to be introed off of this purchase. Um, tomorrow you will see the secret, super special secret, whatever the fuck we called it, secret project reveal. Hopefully you guys will like that. And then we've got a bunch more cars to still get over here. And I need to start organizing things. I think that's going to be my next project. I'm going to start organizing stuff. Appreciate you following along as always.